All right, hello YouTube. So I'm gonna do a quick one here. Um, this is a, a little uh, little procedure on the milling machine, one that I've never done before, and that is to uh, mill an arc in a plate of steel. And it's for a part that I'm making for the uh, end mill end mill grinder. So I got a, uh, uh, you know, I, I have a slot already cut in there, but now I actually have to make an arced, uh, an arc cut. Uh, I don't think you can see the lines here, um, but it essentially has to go from here to there in an arc. Uh, this would be the best way to show you, I think. Um, here are the plans. <clears throat> so the arc I'm talking about is, is just right there. So uh, 14 degrees in one direction and 26 degrees in the other direction. And what a better, there's no better tool really to do that with uh, on a manual machine than with um, a, um, what do you call these things? Rotary table, I guess. Yes, <laughs> rotary table. So I got it set up. I've never used this before. I've never done anything with a rotary table. I've had it for about a year, but I knew someday I'll need it. And this is the perfect opportunity. So I have a scrap piece underneath here to keep the end mill away from the bed itself. Uh, it would have been nicer to have a scrap piece of aluminum, but I didn't have anything that big. Um, well, actually, I do. I do. I do have bigger ones, but I don't want to. I don't want to use them as a scrap piece because they're really quite nice. So hopefully, this should work fine. So the idea here is to uh, uh, to mill an arc uh, from that side to the other, and um, I'm just going to set up the camera and get this going. Something happened there. It's not turning anymore. I think oh, this thing rotated out of place. Oh, I didn't lock it. What a rookie mistake. Wow. Okay, got to be careful about that. I guess I have to lock that. There we go. I can continue. <coughs> Should do it. Let's see. All right, so I think that's a success. Right there is the um, is the arc that was milled. Uh, a little chattery there at the bottom. I'm going to clean that up with a file. Not too bad. It looks worse than it really is. Um, when I run my finger, I can yeah, I can feel a little bit, but it's not going to affect anything. Um, I think that chatter happens because there's a, a tiny bit of backlash, you know, like there's a tiny bit of backlash in in the rotary table. I, I think that's normal. And I guess whenever the cut grabs on one side, uh, especially when you're plunge milling, 
um, you know, it's cutting on one side and pulling, it's cutting on both sides, so, you know, it cuts on one side and then pulls back on the other side, so it's not an ideal operation. Uh, it's usually best to just cut on one side and that way you have even pressure. But uh, it's, total, it's not unexpected, uh, but I think that's why. There's, uh, you know, a little bit of backlash, which is normal, <clears throat> and I think that's why that's been happening. But somebody else, you know, I'm sure can comment and let me know uh, if there's a way to uh, plunge mill on a rotary table and uh, not have any kind of uh, chowder like that. Uh, I, I did feed it so that it was not chattering or it was chattering much less, but I think that's just the nature of things. But uh, anyway, there, there you go. So that worked out great, and I'm just going to uh, cut out the rest of the part and, um, you know, stand it all up, and, uh, you know, that will be the next part for the, uh, well, I guess I'll show you. <coughs> it's for the end mill grinder right here. It's a Derex uh, end mill grinder. Uh, there we go. And the part that I'm missing is the uh, stylus assembly that goes right here. So it's a whole assembly that holds a stylus to um, register the, uh, the end mill when you're cutting the flutes. And uh, I've already got some of the parts made uh, right here. Uh, there's a couple of brackets uh, made up. Um, I need to make up another one of these, but uh, here is the actual stylus, it's stainless. Um, cut this on the D-bit grinder so it's uh, you know seven degree and um, yeah worked out great but uh, yeah so these are these are the parts that I need and I have plans um, to to make them and uh, so I'm just basically going off the plans to uh, to make all this stuff so anyway there you go thanks for watching mm -hmm.